We've done videos before about the most overpowered players in Football Manager and you guys always seem to love them. So we thought, why not bring you a team of the most overpowered wonder kids in today's video? I'll run through the criteria of what we mean by that in a second. But first, let's run the intro and then we'll get right into the team. Hi everybody, Jake here for FM Scout and as mentioned today I'll be bringing you a team of the most overpowered wonder kids in Football Manager. But you might be thinking, Jake, what does that mean? What does overpowered mean? Well, we've got some criteria for these players and I'm going to run through that first so just bear with me. We have got players one that aren't the ones that you already know about in terms of Bellingham's, Makoko's, Endrick's. We know about those guys. We know how good they are. But two, we're looking for players that are value for money at the very least. Some might be expensive but still worth the money. Three, we're looking for players who have very good hidden mental attributes, which I'll speak about in a second if you don't know what they are. And four, we're looking for people that a lot of you guys have said you've had great experiences with in the past or we've had great experiences with. And finally, number five, we're not just looking at players here who have great potential, but ones that can impact your teams right away. So with that being said, let's get into player number one. And even though it's a little bit boring, we have to start with a goalkeeper in this team. Every team needs one, of course, and there's no better this year in my opinion than Elia Capriol. There's a few players who have a similar potential rating but if you're talking about someone that already has a bunch of talent and I mean you can see that based on his attributes then Capriol fits the bill. Someone cheap yes he's also that he plays for Bari in the second division of Italy if you haven't checked him out already. Definitely very good in the in-game engine. He's a lot of people's favorite this year but with goalkeepers it's hard to say who's overpowered and who's not right but Capriol certainly fits the bill of having everything he needs to be a great goalkeeping option. But we're done with the goalkeepers, let's move on to the exciting players in the list. Now the first one is one of the favourites of last year's FM and this year's too, Ilya Zabrani, but before I talk about why he's so overpowered, I'd like to ask you guys if you could smash the like button on the video. It really helps us in terms of the video's performance and it tends to determine how well one of our videos does, so any support is massively appreciated. But I guess more importantly on this video is I want you to let me know who your favourite overpowered wonder kid is in the comments down below so that we have a list of them there. Also, whilst you're at it, subscribe to the channel. We would massively appreciate it. But yes, Ilya Zabrani of Dynamo Kiev out in Ukraine already has a bunch of international caps at the age of 19. That tells you pretty much everything you need to know straight away. But we can go deeper than that, can't we? His attributes are already phenomenal, very well-rounded physically and wanted by Premier League clubs, although I would argue he could play at a higher level than those clubs there. What's even better with him, though, are his hidden mental attributes. Now, I won't go into all of these in every single player, but to give you an example of what we mean, Zabrani has 18 for important matches and 15 for consistency, with free injury proneness in this save. Now, for a lot of players, this is randomised and there isn't a set value, but I believe Ilya here actually has has fixed ratings for those hidden attributes. Either way, even without them, he'd be an incredible player. With them, he is a must sign. I mean, £10 million or so for this kind of player is phenomenal. Now let's move on to our other defenders. And it's Mr. Versatile, the very, very talented Nikola Zalewski, the Polish international with five appearances at the age of 20, who plays as a regular starter for Roma. Now he's going to cost you just under 20 mil, but he's definitely worth it. Like I say, Mr. Versatile, he could play fullback on either side, number 10 left mid right mid wing back he's good with both feet actually right footed but also pretty good on his left but I think as a wing back on that left hand side or maybe even an attacking fullback he would do a phenomenal job he can tackle well good technique and passing and vision alongside good dribbling crossing first touch he's quick as well this is everything you'd want from a modern day fullback isn't too expensive and has great hidden attributes as well I spoke about him already as one of my favorites from this year but someone I haven't covered too much is our next player and that's Philip Roningen Jorgensen, a Norwegian 20-year-old central midfielder who can play in a few different roles. He plays for Odds BK in the Norwegian divisions and is very well-rounded right from the off. Great determination, doesn't cost you too much and has a lot of ability, even though, of course, he does have high potential with all of these players, as much as they might be good in the future, right now, right from the off, they can contribute to your side. Now, this guy would join a variety of different levels of football. I would imagine there's a lot more appealing to him than his current club, no offence to them, but I imagine if you're in a top five European league, maybe you're in the Dutch divisions or the Portuguese divisions instead. Either way, you should be able to attract this player, a very, very talented midfielder 
midfielder who I'm sure is nailed on to be a regular starter for Norway at some point in your save. For our next player, we've got Andre Santos, who whilst he is at Vasco da Gama here, in real life, he's joined Chelsea, but that has not updated in FM yet, so get your hands on him whilst you can. But before we talk about him, just want to let you know, I do have my own channel linked in the description down below. Over there, we've got a Let's Play series with Aberdeen and also one-off rebuilds that we do on the channel. In particular, there's a Benfica one coming out today. I'd greatly appreciate if you could head over there and check it out. I'd be massively, massively thankful if you did, but Andre Santos is the complete package. Chelsea have made a great signing by the looks of it in signing him. He's very well thought of in Brazil and he is extremely well-rounded in Football Manager. For £5 million or so, you're getting a guy who doesn't really have a flaw on him. Yes, he can tackle well and he can pass, but he's also good at finishing, good dribbler, good first touch. Certainly could play pretty much any role in that midfield. He's got the flair as well, as all the Brazilian midfielders do, and I think he'd be a great signing in your save, and he is very good in the in-game engine. If you're looking for a midfielder with a bit more creativity though, Pablo Torre could be the one for you. This guy is just exceptional. There's no other way to put it. £10 million from Barcelona would be a great deal, but you can't sign him straight away, I don't believe, as he's only just joined from Racing de Santander, where he was exceptionally good, but... The reason I love him is he has passing 16, vision 16, and technique 16. Basically, he has got that at a level that players of 28, 29 years of age can only dream of. Corners, crossing, dribbling, finishing, first touch as well. Good on his set pieces. He's good physically and very well-rounded mentally. He's got the flair. He's got the determination, and he's got that vision. This guy is the perfect attacking midfielder. You just need to scout him, maybe give it a year or so, and you should be able to make this deal happen. Maybe you could loan him in first year. Either way, Pablo Torre fits our bill of being overpowered and he's great in game, so sign him up if you haven't already. But a slightly more cheaper option could be Dinamo Zagreb's Martin Bacharina, a regular starter for his club at the age of 19 and someone who's guaranteed to be part of that Croatia national setup in a few years' time. £5 million or so gets you a very nicely well-rounded midfielder who is good right now but has a lot of potential still, as all of these players do. In particular, in one of my rebuilds on my channel, I can't remember which, it might have been Rangers, we signed this guy, not thinking too much of it, for £5 million or so, and he went on to be one of the best midfielders in the world, and we had teams like Arsenal bid in £70, £60 million for this guy, so he's definitely worth that investment. Give him the chance and he'll be good straight away, but once he develops even more, he will be a great signing for you. Another great option, though, could be Alan Velasco, an Argentinian wide player wonder kid. These guys seem to come around in their dozens every year in Football Manager, but Alan Velasco is one of the best you will see in terms of fitting that bill. Now he does cost a fairly pricey £9 million and he's only joined Dallas from Independiente fairly recently. So again, he's another one where you'll scout him, you'll wait and eventually you'll try and sign him. But he's got bags of technical ability, strong mentally as well, and he's very determined with the physical attributes that you would want for this kind of player. He'd be a very nice inside forward on that left-hand side. I'm a big fan of his and in game he can cause a lot of damage. He loves to cut inside on that right foot. He's got the player traits for it and he will be deadly in the in-game engine. But for our final three players now, we're going to be looking at strikers going from cheapest to the most expensive in this list. And the first one is a guy who I loved last year and in a Wonder Kid to Superstar episode was phenomenal. But this year, we're not talking as much about potential. We're talking about how good he is right from the off. It's John Karikaburu, who plays for Real Sociedad's B team and is valued at around £11 million. I could stop it here just by saying he's wanted by four of the biggest clubs in the world, but let's talk about why. The guy is exceptional physically, quick with great agility and balance. He's also fairly good in the air in terms of his jumping reach. Not really, but when it comes to his 15 heading, if he does get any of those headers, he will likely score with them. Great dribbler, great first touch, great technique and teamwork and work rate as well. The guy has got everything you'd want. Yes, he is lacking in determination, at least in this save. I don't know whether that's variable in yours, but he's definitely still worth a look at. He will score goals for fun. And for this kind of valuation, you cannot go wrong. Our next striker wonder kid is Rasmus. Holjund, Hoijland, I don't know how you pronounce that, but this 19-year-old Danish striker is an absolute monster, and instead of the technical ability that Kurika Buru has, Rasmus here is a physical beast. Now, I'm not saying he hasn't got any technical ability, but for £15 million, this monster striker has everything you'd want. He's fairly quick, good in the air, and he's also strong as well, with great natural fitness and jumping reach. Heading's good, finishing is very nice, work rate is high too, and his determination, his decision-making and composure is also 
also at a nice level for a 19 year old six foot three left footed striker but if you do get a chance to bring him to your club he will tear apart your leagues and our final player is French under 21 striker Arnold Cullimendo he plays for Rennes in Ligue 1 but I've been told he's now agreed a transfer with PSG I haven't checked that myself but if so you could see why PSG would go for him one to weaken a rival but two this guy clearly clearly has bags of talent a pacey beast up front who's also pretty strong on top of that he's very very well rounded technically he can dribble finish and has a great first touch his passing's also at a nice level with 13 vision 12 passing and 14 technique works hard is great off the ball but what i love about him for a player so young is his decision making and his composure is already at a brilliant level for a 20 year old he's guaranteed to score you goals has everything he needs if you haven't tried him already he could be a great striker in your save but there you go everyone that is 11 of the most overpowered wonder kids in fm23 whilst avoiding all of the big names all of these guys either have great attributes great hidden attributes that will make them really powerful in the in-game engine and also they're already all very good players even though they've got great potential if we're talking about their current ability it's still very strong i'm a big fan of all of these but let me know who i missed in the comments down below please do like the video if you did enjoy and check out my channel linked in the description thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye